welcome to social with sneha today we are going to discuss about 8th class chapter 1 reading and analysis of mark so in this lesson reading and analysis of mark so reading reading of the map and making of the map is perf uh, that means it is very perfect to you all because the topic related to the map reading is completed in your 6th and 7th and now you are entering into the 8th class so i hope that each and everybody is perfect regarding the making of maps so uh, if any student fail to recapitulate the knowledge as you are away to the physical classes so please watch my previous videos uh, you get the clarity about the maps what are the types of a maps and what are the elements of the map and how we will make a map so now coming to the topic so here definition of a map so what is a map actually a map is a pictorial representation of a place on a piece of paper okay so what is a map a map is a pictorial representation of a place on a piece of paper then what is a photo what is a photo photo is also same we are representing a place on a piece of snap in a paper small paper okay so here a photograph and a map are very close relatives means it is having a close relation but it is having a lot of difference you may get why teacher you are telling that map is also representing something on a paper photo is also same representing something on a paper okay suppose you take an example of a taj mahal when you go when you take a uh, what photo just you can get a image of the taj mahal that's all same real how the taj mahal is there exactly it will be in a photograph now when i represent the taj mahal on a map it does not show us any reality and even we can see the location we can know the road map we can know the boundaries of the taj mahal whether any rivers are there or what kind of the vegetation and so on means more than one information we can get easily in a map which we can't get in a photo so this is a major difference which you have to know between the map and a photograph now once you observe on the screen very clearly the above picture is giving us the information about the photo means it is a photo of a continent when you see the bottom you can see the image of the map of same continents okay so here you can see above it is uh, what it is depicting the reality but here it is an imaginary here you can see only the continents and the water but here you can see the latitudes longitudes and many more things so what is the difference between a map and a photo a photo is a model of a map but it does not gives us the more information about particular topic okay so this is a major you can see um, very clearly when you observe the two pictures above and bottom okay now coming to the next topic maps age down means maps from the ages down down means what so many years means which was completed when we were not born is it or not yes so who was the first people who started making the map and why they got an idea to make the map and so on students now we are going to discuss about earliest means uh, so many years back so the earliest surviving maps those are about the sumerians and babylonians and the greek geographers what kind of the maps they had prepared and so on so first we are going to discuss about sumerians sumerians are the people who at present we call them belong to the iraq they made the maps 4000 years ago how many years ago children 4000 years ago so why the idea why they thought that they should make the map means they thought as the sumerians in the uh, so many years back they were having many temples they used to get a lot of income from the temples and uh, they uh, used to get more land as a gift priest used to get so they wanted to record all this land and the income in the form of a record 
so they made the clay tablet which is called as what nana clay tablet is nothing but that was a first map which was made by the sumerians why they made they made to record record land and income so this is the map which is made by the sumerians this is a clay table so they used to record the information okay children once again sumerians they made the maps 4000 years ago at present iraq people and uh, especially they made the map only for the recording of the land and the income next babylonians babylonians are also at present iraq people and uh, they made the map uh, 2600 years ago how many years ago 2600 years ago babylonians was the first person who made world map who made world map means they represented complete world on a map means they tried to make because here are the sumerians what map they made they made the map only to record the land and income of themselves but babylonians they tried to represent complete world so this is the map of a babylonians it is also represented on the clay table you can see very clearly on the board okay so that uh, uh, they thought that inner circle dot is represented by the babylonians next by the bitter sea and uh, whatever the mountains or the valleys and cities towns everything they represented inside the inner circle the outer circle is of ocean which consists of the islands. The triangular blocks are called as the islands. This is a map which was represented by the Babylonians. They thought that the earth might be in a form of a circle. Okay. Now coming to the Greek. So you have to remember in the three stages. See. First Sumerians. Second Babylonians. And the third we are going to discuss about the Greek geographers. Who are the geographers? Anaximander, Hectachios, Herodotus. These are the three geographers who belong to the Greek. They were eagerly uh, what, ready to make the maps. Different types of the maps. Such one map is a Hectachios map which is represented again on the screen. This is also in the form of a sphere, means spherical, which is surrounded by the ocean. Middle you can see very clearly which was divided into three parts. Europe, Libya and Asia. What they know? They represented. And these three are called as continents. These three continents are separated by what? Mediterranean Sea. These three are separated by the Mediterranean Sea. So that Greece. They placed the Greece on the top in the middle. As they belong to the Greek. This is related to the earliest surviving maps. So, how they know the information that there are the ocean, Mediterranean Sea, beside is Asia, beside is Europe, is all. Because they draw the maps based on the travel and the descriptions. Means they were moving from one place to another place. They used to travel. They used to know the information about the place. And they used to represent it in the form of a map. So, in the process of this uh, 2300 years ago, Alexander is a great king of a Greek. His ideology was to conquer entire world under his control. For that purpose, he ordered to make them accurate maps. How many years ago? 2300 years ago. And uh, they were eagle, means they were ready to make the maps based on the latitudes and the longitudes. So, what were the latitudes and longitudes? Horizontal lines and the vertical lines. So, they placed at that time noon line means all the places which are at this exact noon means 12. Noon line. So, all the places they joined and they represented as a longitude. You can see on the board. And uh, coming to the latitude, they gave the length of the shadow means they took the length of the shadow of equal means all the places who are having the equal length of the shadow they represented in the form of a 
latitudes. So with the help of the latitudes and the longitudes, uh, Alexander, a Greek king, he ordered to make the map. However, it took more than 2000 years to get accuracy of the latitudes Next, we will and discuss the about longitudes. Ptolemy's map and how he used latitudes and longitudes to draw the map. I think that it is very clear to you all. If you like my video, please share, comment and subscribe to Social with Sneha. Thank you one and all.